So today I'm going to make a top line melody and yeah, I'm going to show you a technique for making a top line melody called a negative harmony and there's lots of techniques, you can go for a walk and go whistling, you can hum a tune, uh, you can, I don't know, there's lots of different ways to create tunes. Um, this is just a technique, I, I learned it from someone in YouTube, I've got a link to his videos uh, in this underneath this video of course um, so we can credit him for this but I just wanted to show you by using his techniques um, how you can come up with your own melodies and basically the technique involves kind of stealing someone else's top line melody and um, the reason I like it is because every time I've tried it, it sounds really good. And But stealing obviously is not a good idea, but um, you're not really stealing. So what you're doing is you're stealing by taking the, the melody and then you're changing it in such a way that it's unrecognizable from the original melody, then it becomes your melody. Okay, so something you've created and you can amend and change and tweak and do whatever you want with it. And then from there, what I tend to do is um, from the melody, I will build um, the song around that melody, including the chords. I mean, sometimes I, a lot of times I put the chords, create the chords first and then the melody later. It's just every technique com is different, but this is, um, I want to start making more melody driven um, songs. So when I say a top line melody, I mean something that a vocal, you know, like a voice will sing, and you might not even hear the keys or the you know the actual instrument in the song is just a vocal so um, let's get started right so I'm going to, before I show you how to do it, I'm just going to quickly um, let you listen to a song that I created literally a few minutes before this uh, doing this video uh, and at the end of the video I will tell you what song I stole it from and you'll be I think you'll be um, shocked, to be honest, because it's very, very different. So, nice melody, you'll never guess what the song is, but I'll tell you at the end. So basically, let's start with, um, let's go through and have a look at one of these. So one of these will be, let's just let me play it for you now, and you, I'm sure you will recognize this tune. Let's um, solo it. Yep, you heard right, that's Mary Had a Little Lamb. Whatever you might think of it, it's a nursery rhyme, it's still a top line, okay? It's still something you sing along to, it's just a nursery rhyme. So what is this technique and how can it help you? So it's actually pretty simple really. You're dealing with notes, okay? You always start with the first note in this technique and then you uh, invert the subsequent notes. So for example, let me unfold this. In this example, the first note here is E, and the second note is D, and D is two semitones below E. Okay, so you want to invert that, which means you want this to actually be two semitones above E, and vice versa. With C, with C three, you want it to be, you know, this is one, two, three, four semitones to E, so you want this to be four semitones above it. And by doing that, you actually get different notes, okay? So a song that is a happy song will actually turn into a relatively sad sounding song. 
and vice versa. Something that sounds kind of mo somber and sad might actually sit, you know, and turn out to be sa sounding quite happy. So with that in mind, let's just get started. So I, what I tend to do is I f click on fold, okay? Since E is our first note, we're gonna get everything to revolve around E. So let's start, and I'm starting from the, the highest and going all the way down to the bottom. And we've only got four notes actually, so it shouldn't take too long. So let's start with this G. So we'll, set, we'll start counting. So G is one, two, three, semitones from E. So let's move that down. One, two, three. Okay. Now let's take the next set of notes, which happens to be the Ds. So D is two semitones. So one, two, one, two. And let's just take the last set, which is the, um, the Cs. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's listen to it. So you still feel like it's Mary Had a Little Lamb, but actually it's it's kind of reversed and isn't so happy sounding uh, it doesn't resolve so perfectly right and that and that's what we want so we've actually created an original melody here so um, and remember this is a vocal top line melody so you can actually you know make you know start putting lyrics to this so uh, for example let me just start humming <laughs> So you can you can imagine the beginnings of a song. So I think where it starts getting, um, where you can start really you know make hearing a difference is when you um, start making the chords. So I'm going to just take the melody now and I've put it in another track. I'm going to make I'm just going to click this to wide. I'm going to I'm going to start making some chords based on the notes. Nothing too complicated. <laughs> So just going to a bit of uh, reverb going. Uh, da da, we have a a song. So you could argue whether that's any good or not, but it's still a top line melody. And I think once you get some drums, and let me just get it closer to the, the actual track that we had before. Once we get some drums on it um, and maybe speed it up a bit, it might not be that bad. And obviously a bass line would help. So let's just get some of these drums on there.
So now what we're going to do is just take that cheesy sounding piano off and I've kind of memorized the song so I'll just try and attempt a harmony uh, with my vocal. Oh, let's go at the top. Make it faster. Okay, so you get where I'm going with this. Um, that is a melody. So let's uh, let's finish with that. I think that doesn't sound too bad. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe I won't. I'm not sure. But that's just one melody. I think I'm going to um, bring in another melody just to just give you some more choice here. Um, there was another one that I wanted to bring in. Just bear with me. I think I have it here, and it's Old MacDonald. Yes, the classic. Old MacDonald had a farm. Let's hear what that one would sound like if we put it in here. Let's get rid of that. Let's listen. Let's put it in here instead. Sorry, got the wrong one. Okay, I think we know how the rest of that goes. So let's uh, let's give that one a go. I'm just going to take the first half of this because I think. Oops. I think the, well we can repeat it, I think the rest of it is, is going to be difficult. So let's just start with, let's use the same technique, we'll start with the, the, the first note which is G, okay. So let's take the first one which is B and, and bring it down to G, one, two, three, four, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so we have to be careful these notes don't overlap. So let's go with the next one, which is A. One, two, one, two. So they don't seem to overlap, but once again, we've got to be careful here. Um, then these ones here, so this is E3. We'll go up to. One, two, three, one, two, three, and a couple more. So, actually, the last one is this one. So, one, two, three, okay. This is the last one, actually. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So let's listen to this melody now. Remember, this is Old MacDonald Had a Farm. I'm going to slow it down a bit.
Okay, so kind of not too bad as a melody. Um, so let's us do what we did before, which is create chords. Okay, and let's just expand that a bit. So uh, the last thing we're going to do is actually nothing. So I think for <laughs> for that uh, top line melody, it's not really blowing my mind away. But I think if I spend enough time on it, I could definitely turn that into something interesting. So let's just hear it without the melody, and actually without the bass. So then I can just hum a melody, right? Etc. Etc. I really apologize for my terrible voice. I'm not a singer, but I think you get the point. Okay, so lastly, um, so we've done a bit of nursery rhymes. There's another song that maybe you want to listen to, which is this one. Let's get down to here. So that is Stevie Wonder, isn't she lovely? And what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to do it now, but we use the same technique on that, but I have subsequently, and I've got to remember where it is, I've subsequently made, a, I made, previously I made a song based on that, on that sound, on that uh, melody. I think this is it. Let me just test it. Okay, so it's, it's not the best sounding thing in the world. This is Isn't She Lovely by Stevie Wonder. But I've made a, a negative melody. get away with it. So what's what I really like about actually doing this is not just that you come up with a kind of an original melody is is the that you can that the melody drives some really nice chords. And because the melodies are always really, really nice, um, because they come from classic, classic or fam famous songs, the melody is going to be nice. Just the chords are nice, right? Okay, so this is the end of the video, but you've waited this long. I'm going to now go back to uh, that song from that I originally showed you, and I'm going to tell you what it is. Listen to it one more time.
Okay, so the song is Happy Birthday to You. Okay, so if you think it is weird, you got to try it for yourself. You come up with some amazing things. That's Happy Birthday to You. Happy Birthday to You. And that's that song. So just wanted to show you that it's an amazing technique. You could take it or leave it. Depends what sort of music you want to make. But I think it's really cool. I'm going to try using it a little bit more. And maybe you will too. If you've got any questions or comments, please don't hesitate in asking them. If I've done something that you don't think is right, say something. But anyway, um, I hope you got something out of this anyway. So yeah, thanks a lot and I really appreciate your time. See you later.